only advice I have to market a song or a brand being an upcoming artist is just look at what's around you and just do it a little bit differently. You know what I mean? I think um, when you look at kids like uh, like the Fulio kid, he did that. I think he's the one that made that Who I Smoke record. Yes. Which is, I, so. I mean, the context is horrible, but <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think it was dope the way he did it. Like he did it on a golf course and shit. I, t- I, made, I, put, I made a tweet about that. Yeah. There's something about hip hop and golf courses that is just a It's staple. something different. Like like the kid Rumor. Um, rumor that... Um, he did who I spent some time around him in LA. He had some incredible music, but rumor like he had like basically like a country sounding song and him and his homies got a bunch of guns and ski masks on and shit in the video. I think like you just got to think out the box as far as presentation. I yeah. feel like if you're a guy, if you're a guy and you're an artist, you should be trying to, and you should be approaching your base like you would approach the woman of your dreams. You know what I mean? Like how you going to get her? And you should do that every time you roll something out. I understood. Once again, I understand my strengths and I understand my weaknesses. That's just like if I'm sitting in the, in this crowd today, I would try to make sure I connected with the most motherfuckers in the crowd. Meaning exchange numbers, introduce myself and do it in a boss manner. And that's what I did. Soon as I got in Def Jam business, soon as I got into the office, I made sure I bonded with the motherfuckers that had strengths in the areas I was weak in.